Hey guys, Jeff Elzeni here, um, coming at you from the London Hair Clinic. I wanted to, uh, to answer some questions. Since we've been on lockdown or since we've had uh, coronavirus and the centers have all been closed, um, people are asking, you know, how do I do my hair? How do I get through until, um, until my stylist can get me back in for an appointment? Um, how do I do rebounds? How do I do touch-ups? So today, I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on how to uh, remove, clean, and reapply um, your skin system. So uh, first step is doing a removal and uh, super simple. What I recommend when doing the removal is to uh, start from the back. So what I do is I grab the hair and just kind of lift the back and slowly roll the head of hair towards the front. Just like that. Very easy process to do. And then what I recommend to do is to use, I like to use just a regular towel. I wear gloves. Um, some of the residue glue can get sticky. Uh, it's a lot easier uh, to use gloves. You can just take them off and your hands are nice and clean. Um, so I like to use an alcohol-based product. And this product here will help remove any residue or um, extra adhesive that is left onto the scalp. What I try to do is I try to push all of that adhesive towards the center. So as you see, I'm pretty much pushing it up towards the center of my head. And you'll see it kind of piles towards the middle, which you can grip with a towel and take it off. Again, you want to get any of the additional oils that are up there. You want to have a nice dry, clean scalp with no residue bond to ensure when rebonding you're going to get the best grip and it's going to last over the longest amount of time. All right, pretty easy. Scalp's almost ready and clean. Some people like to jump in the shower and actually shampoo and condition the hair, which you can. Um, I recommend probably, if you're gonna do that, to use a clarifying shampoo. And I wouldn't recommend um, conditioning the hair because that's gonna put some oils into the scalp, which are then again gonna have to clean with alcohol because um, it could hinder uh, the rebonding process. All right, now we're gonna begin to clean the head of hair. What we wanna do is ensure the fact that we remove all of the excess adhesive or bond. So what I recommend to do is take a towel, dry towel, and begin to work the base from the outer edges up to the center. So what you wanna do is you wanna pull all that excess bond and adhesive to the middle of the head of hair. This is gonna be the easiest for you to clean. A lot of people try to wipe it down towards the edges. If you wipe it down towards the edges, you will get the bond into the hair, which will uh, create further issues for you. And uh, we wanna to try to make this as simplistic as possible. So again, begin to wipe everything towards the center of the head of hair. Seems to be cleaning up pretty well. And once you get everything towards the center of the head of hair, it's gonna be really easy because you'll be able to pretty much just use a paper towel and, or your regular dry towel that you're currently using and just scoop everything up off of the base. See that? A lot of people worry about tearing the base. Just go easy. Make sure you don't stretch it too much. So that's why I'm using the gloves and holding it in place. Without using the gloves, I would be putting my fingers into the 
residue of the adhesive, which is super sticky and again, hard to remove. So now everything can just be picked up, cleaned off. And again, now you'll have some residue. You wanna still wipe that towards the center. Pick it right up off the base and clean it. Now what I recommend to do is use that alcohol-based product again. You're gonna to wanna to spray the base nice with that. This will help get any leftover residue, make it really easy for you to clean. Again, the cleaner you get it, the longer your reapplication is going to end up uh, lasting you. If there's residue, it's gonna still have, uh, it's just not gonna give you that same duration of your bonding period that you would normally get when you go to the clinic. All right, looking pretty clean. A couple small areas left. All right, looks really good. Okay, so now what I do as I start to apply the ghost bond, The less you use of this, the better off you are. If you use too much, it takes too long to dry and sometimes doesn't dry completely clear, which will give you issues and will allow you to see it through the base of your head of hair. So spread it very evenly and extremely thin. Now I typically go temple to temple. I'm gonna show you guys why, because I do a half application. I don't have much of my own hair left on top, um, but some of the clients have a good bit. So what I do recommend to do is use a tea trimmer and to shave down any hair that you think the uh, head of hair would end up sitting over, or you could kind of see a track from uh, where your stylist would typically shave it down. Very careful with this. If you do too much, you're gonna have a gap. So let's make sure that we do it just properly. So I have these hairs right here on this area and on this side. So what I do is I kind of turn sideways and look in the mirror just to ensure that I get only what I need shaved down. Another thing you could do is use a handheld and check the back. So you can see where the hair was shaved down before. I'm gonna make sure that we get right into that same area. So that once we apply the head of hair, it is not overlapping on the shaved hair to make sure we get good coverage without any lifting edges. like we're ready to go. What I now recommend to do is apply some of the bond to your own scalp. Again, we only applied bond to the front of the head of hair, so we want to make sure that we do the same 
pretty much the same area on your scalp. So we're gonna go across the hairline. I have a very uh, kind of drawn out tan line. If you do not have that, what I recommend to do is put the head of hair up there with no bond on it at all. And you could um, kind of line up where you need it to sit. So take a look in the mirror before you're committed with the bond and use a wax pencil to put a mark where you need the hair to be or where it needs to sit. Just make sure you sit that hair right behind that mark and do not put any of the bond on top of the mark. Again, it will be hard to clean and you'll end up, uh, you'll end up seeing it. So we went on the head of hair temple to temple, so we're gonna go temple to temple with the bond on my head. You can use a blow dryer to speed the process up. You want to make sure that it turns completely clear and there's really no white left in it. If there's any white left, it won't cure the rest of the way once the head of hair is attached. If you did apply thick in any areas where it's still white, you could actually take that brush and knock it down a little bit and it will adhere that way or dry that way best. So now it's time to put the head of hair on. Again, if you made a mark, we're gonna line up right behind up. If you did not um, and you know where it goes, just make sure that you go, uh, you know, make sure you get it as close to that mark as possible. We all know when it's too far back or too far forward. Uh, completely changes the look and, uh, you know, usually leads to uh, not being really happy with the overall result. So I hold it back like this where I could see where the hairline is going to sit. Apply it right down. You want to make sure that you get the temple stretched to the area where they need to be. And then I roll it all the way down, even though there's no bond on the back. I just roll it all the way down to make sure that we're placed properly. So I recommend at this point to, I like to brush it out, kind of see where my placing landed. Make sure we hit the right spot. You can use a little leave-in conditioner. I hold my hand in the way to make sure that I don't get the base wet. Even though you're doing this at home, you still have to wait that appropriated 48 hours. comb any of this out and we'll go through that hairline once we're completely down to make sure that we have it 100% the way that we want. But right now I would definitely say that the placement is exactly where we need it. So what we could do now is I flip the hair back up. I'm going to grab my bottle of Ghost Bond and a brush and we're going to Take a look at the back. So now we can see where the bonding needs to be placed with the hair flip backwards. And spread that bond out nice and thin. We're gonna give it a couple minutes to dry. Again, we could use that blow dryer to speed that process up. At this point, you would put your next coat on the base of the head of hair. So you could turn back around like I am now in the mirror, apply that bond, bring it right to the edges. Just apply that bond and bring it right to the edges, super thin. We want to ensure that we get the best grip possible. Do 
We use the blow dryer now to speed up the process a little bit. Sorry guys, it's not the best look, but listen, right now there's nowhere to get it done. So we got to do it at home and make it work. Even though I haven't really left the house much, I couldn't go without my hair. So doing this and, and make it do until I can get back in with, uh, with my stylist, this is what we got to do. So now we're good to go, right? The bond is set. We're going to stretch it down nice and straight. I like to go like this to make sure that there's no wrinkles going in. And then pull that back just a little bit to make sure we line up. So now these edges are not down yet. So I stretch them in and kind of seat them right in. Use my hands to make sure there's no wrinkles and that we have a good secure fitting. Awesome. So now we had it look like before we had a couple spots in the hairline that did not seat all the way which is good because this actually allows me to kind of show you guys what um, we need to do when the hairline is slightly lifted. So again, we'll take a little bit of alcohol, a rag, towel, and we'll just clean up any of that extra residue to get some of these stuck hairs out of the way. We want to ensure that we have the best hairline. For me, it's all about the hairline. Love to have the hairline uh, exposed. So I always need to make sure that my placement is perfect. So here you want to go super light with the amount of bond that we're using. You can get it on the base and on your scalp. Spread it out really thin. If you have to use an additional coat, that's fine, but really thin is going to allow the bond to dry completely. So see, it's already dried. So now we'll go on the scalp and apply another really light coat. Now what I do is I use a blow dryer and a comb. Dry the hair really good. Take the comb and lock it in. And then I use that to push down and seat the material into the new bond. So I use the teeth to rub it right into where it needs to go. And it's gonna secure it really nicely. We have a couple hairs that are stuck right in here. So what I recommend to do is use a fine tooth comb. You can spray just a little bit of rubbing alcohol right on the teeth and massage through them and they will come apart. All right. So now I like to use a uh, leave-in conditioner. We could spray the hair down a little bit. And we'll begin to style, see how we did. Hairline is looking amazing, 100% natural. I use that handheld mirror again. Let's check the coverage in the back. We're covered great and the placement went down exactly where we wanted the head of hair. Looks good. So now we're gonna style up and show you guys the finished product. I like to use a little bit of spray gel in my hair. So I'll coat the hair pretty well with the spray gel. I 
I use a wide tooth comb. I like that separation. And I style forward and then the front kind of over and back. All right, guys, I think we're good to go. Um, I hope that everybody understands how to rebond your hair.